Well, thanks for joining me again. What I got going today is I'm going to be making a spider for my lathe. You know, I'm not exactly sure if this is going to work or not, but uh, I figured after I got it this far and it looks like it might, I'd bring you guys along for the ride. What I have so far is a piece of pipe that I cut uh, two inches off of, or about two inches off of, and it is welded pipe, so I had to do quite a bit of uh, cutting on the inside to get rid of that weld, get everything smoothed up. Right now I have the about 400 thousandths uh, turned for the threading and then I made a relief cut behind it with this lathe having a 2 millimeter lead screw supposedly I can engage the half nut anywhere I want to cut this 1 millimeter thread. Let's see. As you can see here on the back side of the spindle there are two nuts to hold everything on. Your first one is your preload for the spindle bearings. Your second one is a jam nut. My intentions are to place that spider or thread that spider onto here using it for the jam nut. As you can see here from the threading chart that's on the machine, for a one millimeter thread pitch, we're going to need an 84, 60, 50, and 80 tooth gear. Luckily for us, none of them are marked. Things just keep getting better. If I'm reading this right, I'm pretty sure I am. We're using the one millimeter pitch. A gear, which is 84, that's driven by the spindle. On the back side of it is 60. 60 drives 50, 50 drives 80. Right now I have the 84 gear and 60 gear adjusted as far up as I can. I have the 50 gear adjusted up against the 60 gear. To put the 80 on, well, there's no way in hell it'll go. There's no more adjustment and it's hitting the 50 tooth gear. Another fine piece of work right here. Here's the swing arm that come off of the lathe. This is what holds all the change gears. If you look on the back side here where the nut is at, it looks like there's plenty of room to hog out a little bit more material to uh, allow this to slide up more. Move the tall gear away and then maybe I'll have more room down here to uh, get that 80 tooth to fit. We'll see. get this cleaned up let me get this cleaned up a little bit more and see if it works all right that was just enough to take out to get everything to fit there's still a little bit of slot between the 80 and the I think it what is it a 50 and then the 50 and the 60 so now we can get to threading Alright, I say that looks pretty good. Let's pull her out and see if she fits.
pretty sloppy fit. <clears throat> well, I don't know. And the outside still needs to be trued up, but I just don't like how. How sloppy of a fit that was. Uh, I think I'll try to make another one. All right, and here's the new one. It's a whole lot tighter than the last one was. Now all I have left to do is check it up and figure out where I'm going to put my four bolt holes and get those uh, drilled and tapped. Okay, I got it back in the four jaw. Because I'm going to use four bolts for the spider, I'm going to find the center of the jaw and use that as my reference point where to drill these holes. I made a mark all the way around as far in as I will need and as you can see, I think I've already got one center punch. I'm going to do the rest of them and then drill it out. I saved you the boredom of watching me drill and tap on a round object. You know, it's not any fun doing it yourself and sure isn't fun watching somebody else do it. I think what I'll probably end up doing is throwing a little powder coat on it and calling it good. Thanks for watching.